Hey guys, how's it going? Snowball here and uh, today I'm going to be showing you the basic modeling tools in Cinema 4D. I'll just be briefly showing you how to use them and what sort of effect they make. The object I'm going to be showing them on is a sphere. I've just increased the radius to 300 and the number of segments to 50. So after you've got your object, you want to make sure it's editable. The way you do this is by clicking the this button up over here or the shortcut for this is the letter C. After you've done that, click this button down over here. It's like a grid with a fully colored in orange corner, I guess. Just click that and after you've done that, you can just select your uh, segments individually to edit them however you want. As for selection, this drop down menu gives you loads of different selection modes. The ones I prefer are live selection and loop selection. The way you use live selection is just by clicking and dragging over the segments you want to edit like so and the way loop selection works is if you click it automatically makes a loop around your object like completely around your object so this is a really good one to use if you're trying to get nice circular selections so some good tips for this if you want to do multiple selections just hold shift like so and if you want to get rid of selections just hold control like so if you want to get rid of them like that. Um, now, after you've got your selection, just right click it and over here you have loads of different options. I'm going to be talking about extrude inner, extrude, bevel and matrix extrude. So let's start off with extrude inner. What this does is basically shrinks your selection like so. As you've seen, um, the offset is how much it's shrunk by. Uh, increase it, decrease it. So I'm just going to keep it around 5. Now extrude, what this does is basically pushes out your selections from your object. As you see over here, as I increase the offset, it increases the amount the selections pushed out and is, as I decrease it into the minus, it just pushes it all the way back in. And this can give some really nice effects on anything you're modeling. Like so, so let me just put this up to 15 now. So now we've got to do bevel. What bevel does is basically what the name implies, it bevels the edges of the selection. Extrusion is how much it sticks out, as I, as I increase it, it sticks out even more. And inner offset is how much it's beveled, so if I put it as 10, like so, you can see that it's increasing and decreasing. You don't want to overdo this or else it would just give a really bad effect, but I mean, experiment with, experiment with it guys and see what you get. So I'm going to leave this at 5 and this at 10. Now finally what matrix extrude does is basically it's the same as extrude just a lot more dynamic and a lot more options to work with so as, as you see as I increase the step, oh wait first let me enable this as I increase the steps, let's start off with that, as I increase the steps um, it increases the amount it sticks out and the amount of progressions like so so let me just bring this back down to 1. Um, what move does, the first one, it brings it, it moves it up and down. And first off, you want to make sure that you understand that the selection's on the tip. It doesn't act, it's not actually the whole thing. It's just on the tip. So just this one just moves it out and moves it up, like so. The middle one twists it in either direction. And the last one, it sort of brings it in and brings it, sticks it out. Now as for scale, this one works with the height, this one works with the width, and this one really doesn't do anything. Rotation, you got to notice that it, it affects only the tip of this. So rotation, the first one, it's like up and down rotation, like so. The second one, it's from side to side. And the last one, it twists the whole thing. And this can so really give some really nice effects if you know how to use it right. So guys, seriously, if you're interested in this, um, go into Cinema 4D and just experiment with all these different tools together and just see what you get, you know. Just mess around. That's how I found out what to do and how to use them. And yeah, guys, that's basically it, I think. Um, if you want me to go into more detail on how to actually create the image that's on the screen right now and how to make this um, material go on different selections, please comment it in the comment section below. And yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks.
please give a thumbs up and thanks for watching guys this has been snowball peace out